Hello everyone, today is going to be a quick unboxing of the Celestron Rasa 8. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited. You know, of all the things that I've acquired over the years in astronomy, this one I've honestly I've probably been most excited about. You know, when I first got my Advanced VX like seven years ago, uh, I was really excited about that. CGX I was excited, but this kind of tops everything. Uh, with my current life situation with school, family, work, and all those things, it's become pretty apparent to me that I need fast imaging. I need to be able to gather data really quick. And so the RASA I'm really, really excited about. The other really fun thing about this is my wife's family has a property in Bortle 1.5 skies. And so I'm excited to do some really long exposures with the RASA in, in dark skies and, and see what I can do. So I'm going to, to open this, this thing up. Uh, Really, really excited, and let's check it out. It's almost so new you don't want to unbox it. <laughs> the quality assurance taping, you just know. But, let's get through this here. Okay. That's a little bit thicker on this side. That's a lot of boxes. Uh, and there it is. The 8-inch Celestron Rasa. Super, super stoked. Oh, and if you're wondering what this box in the front here is, that is just an extra rail for the top and the Celestron light pollution filter for the Rasa. That's made by Astrodon, I think, for Celestron. And I'm really excited about that because at home, I live in about Bortle 4.5 to Bortle 5 skies. And I'd like to do broadband imaging of a lot of targets in the sky, and so that light pollution filter is going to be perfect for a lot of my uses. And then I'll plan on, in the future, getting an Optolong, probably an L Enhance, or maybe even the new L Extreme filter. So, we'll see about that, but... Looks like this thing is packaged better than any telescope I've ever seen before, actually. And I think that's probably just to protect the... Uh, the RASA is it's really fast at F2. You want to keep that collimation as good as you can when shipping. So let's, uh, let's open this thing up. Looks like a really pretty optical tube here. Body is, uh, or the tube is covered with a foam strip. It's almost so nice I don't want to take it off. <laughs> uh, but the plan basically for this, for long exposure imaging, I'm really excited because I got a Stellar View Schmidt Cassegrain finder shoe that I'm going to install on the back here. And then I have a Stellar View uh, 50 millimeter guide scope with Stellar View rings. And so this whole system is gonna sit on the back here. So when I do long exposure imaging, I have a really quality guide scope at four, you know, this is 210 millimeter guide scope with a 400 millimeter imaging system. It'll be, give me really good guiding, which I'm excited about. And then, on the top rail, if I stick with the ASI Air Pro, I will probably mount the ASI Air Pro on the top rail somehow or use another shoe or something like that. So that's kind of the plan. I'm pretty excited about that. Glass looks great. I'm super excited to use this. Unsurprising to no one. It's supposed to be really, really cloudy tonight, so of course we'll uh, have to wait for first light, but I am going to be patient even though it's going to be hard. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what this awesome instrument can do. And if you haven't read the history of the RASA, I'd highly encourage you to do so. Celestron basically published a paper. It looks almost scientific in its format, but if you read through that, you can get some really interesting information on the RASA. All right, well, that was just a quick unboxing of the Celestron RASA 8, which I'm really excited about. Uh, others have done some amazing work with this telescope, and granted, I'm not as good as them, but hopefully, you know, with practice, I can be. So, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, and we'll uh, we'll see you later.